Gabon! What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, Tainsy coming back with another video. Today, round 6 is here. Tips for round 6 of the NRL Touch Championship season. Well, we're 6 weeks in. How good. Keeps rolling around in circles, it's great to see. You know. Yeah, can't wait for what's going to be an absolute ripper of a weekend. The Easter long weekend round, we've got games on Thursday. And the best part is, Monday night football returns. Easter Monday... Eels and the Tigers cannot wait for that. But anyway, let's get into my round six tips. We got six out of eight last week. Never tipping the Tigers again. Never tipping the Tigers again. I thought I had a bit of hope with them. It was like, yeah, they got this curse. Or well, not curse. They got this. They got the wood over the Broncos the last four seasons. I was like, yeah, maybe. And then, bow, bow. <laughs> and then yeah, uh, they paid out the draw as a correct tip. So I'll take that. And then, yeah, lost to the, the Warriors being the Sharks. But. Apart from that, good round of tipping. Let's get into the round six. Starting off at Amy Park in Melbourne Thursday night. It's the Melbourne Storm up against my boys, the Sydney Roosters. Uh, Melbourne Storm, favourite dollar eighty three. The Roosters dollar ninety eight. Amy Park, Melbourne, like I said. Um, Jerome Hughes is expected to be named for the Storm. Not sure about Nelson. I had some a few players coming back for the Storm. The Roosters, no Tedesco. Manu returns. One of the Joe, one of the Josephs will play fullback this week. If it's Manu or Suali'i, no matter what, the Roosters will still have a pretty good stacked lineup. Anyway, um, might even see Drew Hutchinson return to the centres again. He played well. Um, uh, did I say the odds? Yeah, yeah. Storm favourites. I think that's fair. It's at home. They had a good win against the Storm, the Rabbitohs. Roosters had a good win against the Eels, but the last five minutes were a little bit disappointing. But apart from that, good result. As I said in the review yesterday. But uh, Roosters, obviously, tip my boys here. The Roosters won the 12. Hopefully, it's going to be a great game. I'm going to be down there again in Melbourne for the second time. Can't wait for this game. Super pumped. I'm going to go to tip the Roosters. Into Good Friday. Good Friday, the traditional Good Friday clash between the Bulldogs and the Rabbitohs at a core stadium. Bulldogs $2.80 and the Rabbitohs $1.44. Oh, excuse me. The Bulldogs coming off a great win against the Cowboys, as we as we mentioned in the intro. The scenes out of Call Stadium last night was phenomenal. A uh, few injuries though for the Dogs, so that might have them. That's why they're at a dollar two dollars eighty. The Rabbit at dollar forty four normally like to bounce back after a loss. Haven't been playing great footy this season, Rabbitohs, and they expect a bounce back here. I think the Rabbitohs will win well. Um, just too many injuries for the Dogs. They they did play at the Dogs at Warburton a little last night, but I don't think it'll be good enough to win two weeks in a row. Unfortunately, and I uh, will say the Rabbitohs will win. Cowboys with the Dolphins at Queensland Country Bank Stadium, the second double header. First three games on nine, it's good to see. Uh, Cowboys with the Dolphins. Cowboys dollar forty seven. The Dolphins two dollars seventy one. Um, Cowboys they were very unlucky to lose this game against the Bulldogs. Uh, they get some players back. I think Nanai and I think Drinkwater, Nanai's back. I'm not sure about Talungi, but a few players coming back for the Cowboys, which will help them. The Dolphins, more injuries. You know, it, their death is going to be questioned. I think Milford might be out for this game too, so I think the Cowboys 13 plus. I think, we, I think we're starting to see the, rea the crashing back to reality of the Dolphins, unfortunately. Uh, into Saturday, 5.30, Panthers v Manly, $1.42, $2.90 Manly. Penrith um, coming off a great win against Canberra, needed to bounce back after that loss to the Eels. Manly, 32 all draw against Newcastle. They were a bit off, but Newcastle played well. Um, I think Penrith at home, 1-12. Um, into the second Sunday game, uh, Saturday game, of course, Broncos, another home game. Fifth in a row, which is absolutely bullshit. But anyway, Broncos dollar thirty one, Ra Raiders three dollars forty eight. Broncos thirteen plus. Raiders are playing shit, and the Broncos are playing good. Sunday, Easter Sunday, we got two games here: the Titans and the Dragons at Seabar Super Stadium, with a crowd expected of ten thousand, maybe less. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, Titans ninth, Dragons tenth. Titans dollar seventy seven, Dragons two hundred six. The Titans fresh off a of bye. The Dragons great win over the Dolphins. The Dragons have the wood over the Titans. Have, the, have won the last two, I think. They won at um, 
They won at Wollongong last year and they won at Colgro this year. Um, the, I can't remember the last time they played at Seabus, I think. I think the Titans won that game, but very close game this one. Flipping the coin, I'm just going to tip the Dragons. They had a great win and they expect to return this. This could be an interesting game, this one here in Newcastle, 6.15, Sunday night in Newcastle. It's the Nova Cash wins, the Newcastle Knights up against the New Zealand Warriors. The Knights, $1.93. Warriors dollar eighty seven ninth eleventh. The Warriors are sitting second, which is incredible. And you know who's the only team that's beaten the Warriors this season? Voila, Omen. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Knights. Great draw, really gutsy draw against Manly. The Warriors again come from behind to beat the Sharks, which is incredible. At Shark Park, not an easy place to win. Wow. Um, I think it's the first time all season, apart from maybe round, or oh, maybe two weeks ago when they uh, beat the uh, Bulldogs in uh, New Zealand. I'm tipping the Warriors. I think the Warriors are up the wires at the moment. I'm on the wires bandwagon. Even though I had them last, um, I'm happy to be proven wrong at the moment. And finally, the traditional Easter Monday clash between the Tigers and the Eels. Oh, God. I'm, I'm not going down this road again. I know Tigers won last year the same game. The Tigers have a good record against Parramatta on Easter Monday. I, I, I can't do it anymore. I, I'm not tipping the Tigers ever again until they prove to me they win a game. I know this is a, this is easily the game that the, the Tigers go out and win. Tigers 3.30, Eels $1.34. It's a battle of the spoon at the moment. 15 feet, 17 feet, 15th. <laughs> good, good, God almighty. Look, safe option. Parramatta, I'm not tipping the Tigers ever again. And yeah, Eels 13 plus, I think. Sharks with a bye. But yeah, there is our round six tips. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tune in tomorrow for our Sydney Roosters preview up against the Melbourne Storm with the great rugby league guru. Cannot wait. I'm so excited to have him on tomorrow. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, favorite the video. You guys know the drill. However, 70% of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, so what are you guys waiting for? Click that subscribe button, like the video, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's get to 3,000 on TikTok and let's... No, I don't really care about Instagram, but 3,000 on TikTok, 1,000 on YouTube. Let's get it done. I'm out of here. See ya!